everyone. Today we're going to be covering adding WebP image support to our Ruby on Rails applications. Now, if you're not familiar, WebP is a solution, I believe by Google, that gives you lossless images that are smaller in comparison to PNGs and also allows you to have lossy images where the quality is worse that gives you a smaller image compared to JPEG. The issue with this is the support out of the box from active storage isn't great. So there is a config you're going to have to enable to make this work. Now you can see here, I've uploaded both a WebP image and a JPEG. And what I've done here is I've cranked this down to have 5% of the quality. So you can see in this image, if I open this in a new tab and zoom in, this is just abysmal. There's a whole bunch of artifacting here. But if I come over here and I tweak this to be lossless, and then I hit Control Shift R, this should, or I guess I have to come back and refresh, this should now be a lossless image. You can see there, there's no more of those artifacts, right? And similarly, I can come down to the Spider-Man, which is still not great because it was uploaded as a JPEG that's already been artifacted, uh, but you get the idea. It looks a little bit better. So how do we do this? Well, the um, the easiest way to do this is to come over here and we'll just do a new app. We'll say Rails new video, and then we'll go ahead and we'll CD into it. And this will also work for the AVIF format. Um, it's just instead of anywhere where you use WebP, you're going to be using AVIF. And the way we're going to do this is uh, we're going to like reformat all the images that are uploaded to be a WebP image. Now you can optionally only do it for some, uh, but if you're going to have this uh, type of performance improvement, you might as well do it for all of your images, but I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. So we're going to start with just a Rails G scaffold. We're going to do a post with a title and a body of type text. After we do that, we're going to do a Rails active storage colon install command to add active storage. And then once we're done with that, we need to come into our gem file. We hit control plus a couple times. In our gem file, there's going to be an image processing gem. We're going to want to uncomment that and then run a bundle command in our terminal again. That will give us image processing for our active storage variants. Next, let's come into config and our routes.rb. In here, we want to set the root to be the post controller index action, so we don't have to deal with that headache. Then we want to come over to our app, our controllers, and our post controller. And here we want to scroll down to the bottom, add a image to give our controllers an image. Next, we can come back over to our app models post.rb. We want to say this has one attached image. That takes care of our model and our controller. Let's finish up in our views. We'll come over to our views, our posts, and our post form. In our post form, we just need to grab a quick little thing, say this is a label for the image. We then say this is a file field for the image that takes care of our form. Now let's come into our partial, which is going to be our underscore post in here is where we have to do um, our image tag. So for the post, all we really want to do is say this is a image tag for the post dot image. This is how we're going to do it right now. And then we're going to change it. But this will at least let us run a Rails S come over to localhost port 3000. I'll close this tab. And in here, we'll run the pending migrations. And now we're going to upload two images. So this will be our WebP image. Uh, and for this, we'll just choose the WebP image that I have in my downloads, which is this WebP example. We'll create this post. That gives us a WebP image. Next, let's come back here and let's create another new post. We'll say this is the JPEG image. Choose a file. We'll come in here and we'll choose the Spider-Man pointing meme. Go ahead and post that. OK, so now we have both of these. And you can see here that the uh, WebP image is right here. This is fine. And the JPEG is right here. We can right click, open new file on the JPEG. And this is OK. The issue is if we right click open on this WebP, it automatically opens this download uh, thing where it asks you if you want to save this file. So the first step is going to be to make this a WebP. And then we'll deal with the uh, little bug where it opens that, that download file. Because we need to change the disposition for this Although it should already be changed, it's actually just not being allowed. So to handle the reformatting, we'll just come in here for our image tag. And instead of doing post.image, we'll do post.webp underscore variant. And then we'll copy this because we need to go make this method. So we'll come into our models and our post.rb. 
in here, we'll say this needs a def WebP variant. And then for this, uh, there's a whole bunch of different options you can use. Um, I'm going to copy and paste the boilerplate over, but bear with me. The first argument is the format. This is where we change it to be a WebP. We then say resize to limit for 500 by 500. This is pretty standard stuff. And then for our saver, this is where we do the magic for changing the quality. So we can see here generally like 80% for the quality is what you'll go with. Uh, and the rest of this, you'll want the lossless to be false. The strip and interlace really don't matter for the sake of this demonstration. But now that we have that, let's come over here to our posts and hit Control Shift R to refresh. I can already see there's some artifacting here on my display. Uh, so I know that's working, but let's right click and open the uh, JPEG. So now you can see if we open new in new tab, it's automatically doing that same thing where it forces the save dialog. And I got stuck on this for well over an hour before I figured out what the solution was. The other thing we should be aware of, and this is something I don't know how to fix. If we click on this, it will still have the, uh, the JPEG file extension for it. Now I've seen a bunch of pull requests for this, but all of them just end up closed or abandoned. There is a like hot fix you can do that allows you to like modify active storage, but generally I'm not a fan of, you know, modifying something like that because it'll just break in the future. So I think this might just be something you have to deal with. I don't know. Uh, or you can just, you know, go ahead and modify it as you need. But in terms of being able to right click and open a new tab, that's something we can fix. So to fix that, we have to come over to our Explorer uh, and we have to come down to our config, our initializers. Then we want to right click uh, new file and we want to call this active underscore storage dot RB. And in here, what we want to do is a uh, rails dot application dot configure do block. And uh, I should have this link somewhere. Okay, now here's the link. And in here, what we should see is going to be a content types allowed inline. Okay, here we go. So this is what's causing the issue. By default, uh, I don't know if it's explained here, but if you have an image and you right click on it, it will open this save as dialog if the disposition for it is an attachment. So if it is considered an attachment, it will be a save as dialog. If the disposition is inline, it will then be inline in the page, which will be that thing where we can actually see the image. So for this, we have to say config dot active underscore storage, oops, dot active underscore storage dot content, oops, content types allowed inline. And then we want to say this is equal to a percent W. Uh, and then you can enter whatever files or types you want to include. So these are the default options. So right here, we can say this and this are the default options. I'll tab this over and I'll just go ahead and comment this out. So these are, oops, these are the defaults. Okay, so that's fine. But if you just want to add in your like WebP support, you don't have to copy this entire thing. You can do something similar you can just say this and then let's push in image slash WebP. So this will just push in WebP into this list and that'll also handle it. You can alternatively, of course, grab this and just do a modified version where you say this should also support uh, image slash WebP and image slash AVIF if that's something that you're interested in. Both of these will work, of course. I'll go ahead and comment this out though. We do need to stop and restart our server because we've created a new initializer and those only run when you uh, start your server. Now that we've done this, uh, we can hopefully come over here and if we hit Control Shift R, we can right click on this, uh, open it in a new tab and now we have this WebP image here. If we come over to our Spider-Man and we uh, you know, right click Save As here, this will save as a Spider-Man meme.webp file, even though the URL should still be pointing to uh, that JPEG that we saw before. Uh, so, or not the, the URL, the file name should still be pointing to that original JPEG. So that's, that's resolved now. And now we have these WebPs that we can view in a separate tab. Again, this isn't really a big issue, but as a user, I expect right-click open a new tab to open in a new tab. 
Uh, I think these the support for these should probably just be added out of the box I, at this point. Like we should just say, all right, we're going to do this because it is a little bit jarring. Or maybe Active Storage needs to have an initializer of its own that has some of these things in here uh, so that people can read through it and figure out how they need to, to fix these things. Of course, it's always easier said than done. At the end of the day, this is an open source project. So me sitting here saying this should exist isn't really the same as me actually creating a initializer like this, right? But anyways, that's a problem for another day. Uh, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped and hopefully I will see you in the next video.